Right, this is a changing subject of the formula. Okay, changing subject of the formula uh, express S in terms of P and R. That means I want S on the left hand side, I want P and R on the right hand side. So there is one very irritating thing which is the square root. What do you do to get out of the square root? Square. Yeah, you square it. Okay, set one. So when you square both sides, you get 1 minus s over s plus r equals to p. Okay, this is when you square. I right, sorry, p square. Repeat when you square both sides. When you square both sides. Right, so at least the square root is gone. So once the square root is gone, you can multiply it out. 1 minus s equals to s plus r times p square. Okay, the denominator multiply to the right hand side and then simply just rainbow the whole thing in p square s plus p square r okay next remember that s is the one you want on the left hand side so which are the ones with s you just take a look at which one got s uh, okay there's an s term here this one is the S term. Okay, there are only two S terms which must go to the left hand side. Everything else just throw to the right hand side of the equation. So we get we continue. Huh? You see, remember the yellow term go to the left hand side. Everything else throw to the right hand side. So we get negative S, negative P square S is equals to P square R minus 1. Okay, so now all the yellow color are on the left hand side, the non-yellow is on the right hand side. And remember when you shift, you have to uh, change the sign, the sign changes. Okay, next, we factorize. Look at here, so we take out S, and we are left with negative 1, negative P squared, equals to P squared R minus 1. And then S is equal to P square R minus 1 divided by minus 1 minus P square. That's it. Okay, we take the whole thing. Okay, this part became the denominator. Alright, so we are left with the S on the left hand side that's it okay next part uh, for the next part they ask you to find the value of s if p equals to 1 and r equals to 2 so substitute this part a so for part b substitute p equals to 1 r equals to 2 so s equals to 1 square Two minus one over s one minus one square. Okay, one square times two is two, so two minus one is one. Now the bottom is negative one, negative one, so it's negative two. Okay, so that's the answer. Negative half. Okay, what's the next one that's difficult? Let's take a look. Uh, maybe. Uh, do you want a copy? No? Okay, so we go on. Okay, you see, a lot of them are just algebra algebra things, right? Okay, uh, this one is difficult. You know. This one. This time. Okay, very common. Question 8. Simplify this and use your answer to write out value of this without using a calculator. Okay, give it a try. Question 8. 